I protected someone from from something and then yeah I ended up in jail. Hey everyone, it's Echo. You're watching a brand new episode of Cosmo Confessions. It's time to get to know me better. So let's begin. My friends think I'm fun and I stick and they say I'm generous. They say I'm crazy. They say I'm spontaneous. I'm just fun to be with. You can be my friend. Oh, last meal request. Um, I think I want to have arroz al cubano. You know, giniling, fried egg, you know, rice, plantain, and then coffee on the side. Ah, the best. Last year I did uh, a Scram Africa ride. So we rode from uh, Morocco all the way to Sahara um, on a motorbike with brand new friends from all over the world. I flew there and then I met them there. Um, you know, folks from Spain, from China, from the UK. There's like 20 of us and then we just rode. We were like crazy people, falling, getting up, and helping each other, sleeping in the desert. And yeah, that was life-changing. I wanted to have a little bit of um, discomfort, right? So, but it was magical, beautiful. Next one should be, I don't know, maybe somewhere in Europe. Somewhere in Europe, yes. Wonderwall. That's my favorite, I know, um, song sa karaoke. Karaoke song, Wonderwall. Everybody knows it. It's fun to sing, and it's always there sa top 10. A black 1965 Ford Mustang. Manual, five speed. Because it was purely, it was not for work, it was not for anything, it was just purely for my, for my soul, for my veins. <laughs> and for fun. Yeah, I miss that car. Invisibility for, yeah, just for a day. There's a, like a lot of things that I can, this is not an artista problem or anything like that. When it comes to like being myself, I'm still in that process of, I'm still challenged in that. I wanna be able to see myself move around, be, be myself whether or not I'm an actor, you know, just be myself because that's, I think, one of the greatest powers you can ever have. Just be yourself. Plus one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I cut my nails really, really fast. <laughs> like, if I tell you, like, in, in, in one minute, I can, like, finish cutting all of my nails and then boom. Yeah. And then, hindi siya pangit, hindi masusugat. I am so good at wasting time. Yeah. I can procrastinate. Yeah, super. I have a tattoo here. The black one here is um, a tattoo that I got when my father got cancer and he's dead now and we're cool. <laughs> and then I got it when I was um, emotional, so don't get a tattoo when you're emotional. But I don't regret it and then it has a lot of meaning now because I have a fish um, tattoo here. It's just two lines like that because I like the story of believers of Christ before. Um, not to be religious or anything. I just like, I just really, really like the story. And I have uh, one here. It's self-explanatory. That's um, my tattoo here of Kim's name. Um, I have um, my tattoos here. It says Oragon Marai, and it's because I'm from Bicol. Oragon Marai means like well done or dignified or yeah good job <laughs> i have a tattoo here it's an x for a uh, railroad crossing with um the date 1979 and initials of my parents because my uncle's story excuse me version of of the meat cute of my parents were at a railroad crossing 1979 was the year that they made me <laughs> oh, fireworks yeah here um that says aquí y ahora I'm here. Um, this was my mantra in 2022. It was a tough time for me. It has a star because 
whenever I'm, I feel sad or I'm thinking about the past, I just pull myself back to here to now. And whenever I worry about the future, I pull myself back here to now and everything's okay. Here is Chile because again, I'm Bicolano, that's Ceiling Labuyo, and I believe that in life you need a little bit of anghan. Okay, if the person eats like this. Oh, dear Lord. When we start talking about other people a lot, like a lot. My biggest ano lang talaga, TO talaga, is like when someone is pretending to be something else, someone else, parang ganun. I can't, it's hard, it's, it's like we're wasting time, come on. I hope naman I'm so like derecho. I think I was 15, I was 15. She was my third girlfriend. Damn, 15, third girlfriend ko na. Oh my God. I wish I said that to my puppy love when I was 12. Because I never got to say it to her. And we were just like separated because of events and I never got to say goodbye. I never got to see her again. So, Oh, as a giver, I give like I'm like I said, I'm strangely generous. Not a sugar daddy. Words of affirmation. I talk to my friends a lot and I tell them things that would make them feel comfortable, confident, you know, or just com comforting words. In I'm touchy. I'm very, very touchy. Yeah, I'm, I'm huggy. I'm, I like to hug. I like to like rub. Like that quality time. Yeah, I can give quality time. I mean, that's the... I tend to like spread myself thinly. I like to give all of those. Because I just like to step out of myself and, and be hyped. Sometimes I get hyper-focused on people, my family, my friends, my loved ones, fine, you know. If you're gonna ask me as a receiver, all of the above. Friends. I've watched it like five times now, like on repeat. I have um, Big Bang Theory. I have Archer. I have Young Sheldon. Uh, I did watch Brooklyn Nine Nine before. Um, I'm still looking for like a like like new show, new shows that I, I can binge watch. I mean, the craziest thing I've ever done for love was get married. You know what I mean? I guess personally, it's it's really having that, really standing up for myself and saying that I'm gonna say me first. That's I think that's the biggest accomplishment. Getting out of that people pleaser um, person and just saying I can't do that, I can't do this, and it takes practice. And that's an accomplishment for me, for for me, just to get to know myself. That is the biggest thing for work. Um, it stems from that also. It's like giving up all of the comforts of, you know, uh, the old life that I'm talking about that just, just a few years ago, maybe maybe five years ago, and, and saying, I'm going to be in charge of my life, I'm going to make my decisions, and I'm going to work on the things that really make me happy and fill me up like in a really, really good way. And even though I'm like shit scared, of, you know, I don't know what's going to happen, um, I did it, you know, I did it. I found my team, I found my friends, and I got the support, and I was like, I was right. So that's one of the biggest accomplishments for me, work and personal, yeah. I protected someone from, from something, and then, yeah, I ended up in jail. Firing Ganon. Maybe that's, maybe, yeah, that's it. Yeah. If you look at, at at horoscopes and who's most likely to get to get jailed, I'm at the bottom list. <laughs> and that's it for today. Who should guest on the next Cosmo Confessions? Let us know in the comments and please follow me on my socials. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to Cosmo's YouTube channel for more interesting content. Bye.